In our last video, we talked about thermodynamics. This time, we're going to talk about the math behind that. There's an equation that helps us to understand most of the things that we need to know about thermo. It's our heat transfer equation. The equation is Q equals mc delta T. In the equation, Q stands for heat change or energy. It's measured in joules. M is mass, and in this case, we're going to use kilograms. C is called the specific heat of something, and it's got kind of a gross unit. It's a joule per kilogram degree Celsius, but it doesn't really matter. The specific heat can be pulled from a, a table of information. For instance, the specific heat for water is 4,186 joules per kilogram degree Celsius. Here's what that means. If I want to increase the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius, I need to add 4,186 joules to that system. Compare that to copper. Copper has a specific heat of 385 joules per kilogram degree Celsius, meaning that copper takes a lot less energy to warm up than water because it's a conductor of heat. Delta T stands for change in temperature. We could also write it as T final minus T initial. What that means is that I'm looking at the temperature of the system at the beginning and at the end, and that's gonna tell us how much energy was either gained or lost in that system because of that change in temperature. Because specific heat is measured in joules per kilogram degree Celsius, the temperature that we use for this has to be in Celsius. If you use a different temperature, you just need to convert it to Celsius before you plug it into the equation. Otherwise, your answer is going to be totally wrong. So let's think about an example. Let's say that I have a 5 kilogram bucket of water, and it's at room temperature, and I take it outside to the pike loading dock when it's freezing outside. That bucket is going to go from room temperature to the temperature outside, which in this case is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 degrees Celsius. So if I know my final temperature, and my initial temperature, and I know the mass, and I know the specific heat of water, I can determine how much energy is lost to that system, to the environment. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video with us. We hope you learned something. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. For more awesome engineering videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.